Hello, welcome back to my channel and today I would like to, to continue the adventure that we started in the previous video. Um, we stopped when Lucius and Yvonne reached Waterfield and there they found the treasure hunter, the mysterious treasure hunter that told them about this legend of um, powerful artifacts that actually it's not the legend it is true he believes this but when they confront him confronted um, this treasure hunter he just lied for some reason and we do not know uh, i know that Yvonne convinced him successfully to tell them the truth why they are hiding it and we agreed that um, maybe maybe he failed on some attempts to find this um, artifact but yeah but he he would tell the, the whole story um, one thing that I realized is that I said that the focus would be the testing of these uh, merging um, of systems and I would like to apologize because I can't hold myself several times I think oh let's test this and then I just start uh, an adventure with story and a lot of stuff and I, I don't want to to um, spend too much time on developing developing a story here I just would like to to test if it works or not this treasure hunter I, I think he, he had this promise that he would find this powerful artifact he he promised this to someone maybe to someone that was close to him um, or maybe um, if we if we check the legend it says um, there was a monster that sought a family member because of love maybe he this is part of his family of course um, a long time ago as it's written here so maybe there is this this story about his family and this monster maybe was someone that was cursed um, and yeah and this powerful artifact is something that can can break this curse and yeah so I, I believe that he he heard this story and actually it's something that passed through generations and he heard these and he knows that his family is, is not um, a prosperous family because of this curse so he wants to get rid of this curse and he thought that he could find if he could find this powerful artifact um, he would be able to break the curse and but for some reason he couldn't find it uh, he he maybe heard or maybe he yeah maybe maybe he, he he could see that it's too dangerous and maybe if we check the map uh, we, we know as a GM that the, the, the powerful artifact is here but yeah he couldn't reach there alone and he couldn't convince anyone to go with him um, now they see actually an opportunity here I, I, I think this he sees an opportunity to maybe join forces with them and or maybe just send them to find this artifact Yes, so let's do this. Let's let's just give give a name to to this guy. Uh, let let me just get um, Ireland a name, Eskil. So Eskil um, is this guy, and Eskil, ask at them, Eskil, ask it, <laughs> ask at them if they could find this artifact for him, and he would pay. Yes, I think this this is this is this makes sense. He would pay a lot of money for them 
if they can retrieve the, retrieve the artifact. The last thing that he knows is that this artifact is hidden in a dungeon on the ruins uh, in a forest far from here and he heard this forest is um, uh, the other side of the mountains and there are he heard that there are this region is actually not not populated by humans but actually by lizard men and it's really dangerous if they would like to go there if they would like to try to retrieve these artifact he would pay a good amount of money and yeah i think when lucius and yvonne hear this almost immediately they agree with it so this is what i think that's going to happen so now that i spent a lot of time doing what i said that i wouldn't do let's just continue uh, i think as they got hit hit on their mind in our previous session i would say that they would spend more time here uh, in little waterfield trying to rest to recover so i will just move the time to evening and even night and then in the morning they would leave so they would have time to prepare themselves so they would have recovered their uh, stress and now we are ready to go so they they just decide to 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 go through these path here and I will just once again try to draw what we are going to do here. so first we reach these hex and one thing that I didn't do in the last session was to roll the weather I totally forgot about this so I will just assume that this was the, the, the weather. And now I'm going to roll 2d6 and let's see where we go. Okay, so it's a 6 and a 2, meaning it's an 8. Okay, so the weather now is not so great, meaning that uh, we can have some rain uh, we are still going through the forest and as soon as we enter in a hex we should roll our our skills and for that we need to choose hike okay there is no need but i need to roll lead the way and i said that the survival list is this guy here with advantage meaning 3d6 and it is a fail okay when i have a fail on lead the way i need to roll and this table here called lead the way miss perhaps let's see a bad thing will happen fog another fog <laughs> great it was a miss previously and now we have fog you are caught unawares by a thick fog the distance you cover this quarter day is decre decreased by one hex in difficult terrain you are stuck in the hex you started in addition each adventure suffered one point of damage to empathy from the gloomy mist okay so uh, what happens is that we take one damage in stress. I will translate this exactly like this. We do not have empathy in tiny dungeons. So I'm just removing one point from stress. 
and we will not be able to um, leave this hex during this day. So during this quarter actually. So we spent the whole morning walking through this fog. And then we, yeah, we just crossed this uh, quarter, only one hex, and then we reached the day. I believe that um, they would like, of course, try to push uh, the most time that they can to, to reach their goal. So I will just try to move to another Rex here the hex sorry and now once again i need to roll my survivalist skill and i failed again so um no sixes one three and four meaning that i need once again to check a mishap uh, okay and your pathfinder falls or twists her ankle and suffers a critical injury. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, I would need to check uh, the results in the table. Let me just check this. And this is says uh, broken toes. So it's not little to run becomes a slow action D6 uh, it's going to be the healing time for that. Okay. So Lucius was leading the way. And he twists his, his circle. And, and let's see how, how long it will take to get better. Oh, great. At least just one day. Uh, to run becomes slow. So I will, I will reduce once again... Um, the amount of hex that they can do in these in these um, quarter of time so yeah so meaning that they only could reach these um, two hexes during this whole day basically so I'm going to move this to the evening um, I need to I think they will try to to do something else they cannot they cannot hike anymore they could but it could affect their their stress again so um i think they will now try to make camp to rest the the whole night and for that i need to roll make camp and once again is the survivalist guy uh, the survivalist that gives advantage to it, meaning it's 3d6. Let me just see in the tables if they if they have any advantage here. Only for for forage and hunt. Okay, so let's roll 3d6 once again on making camp. Whoa! Finally, a success. So. They successfully uh, make camp here. Great. Uh, no, not here. Here. Okay. So um, they they make camp. They spend the the rest of the day. I'm going to roll a d6 on food, just to see if they they spend food. Or not I will roll twice one for each character let me roll for Lucius first it's a one so meaning that now food is five for him and for Yvonne I will roll three meaning that's still six so they are both okay right now I'm going to run to roll for water five okay and three okay so they are okay with um, uh, um with water too okay cool 
so they 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 they, they recover the the stress during the night. Oh, actually, no. I need to roll. I totally forgot about this. We already went through two hexes, and I forgot to roll encounters. So I'm going to roll right now. Actually, I totally forgot about this. In the first hex, let's see if something would happen. Four. Oh, so I would need to go to the table. This one here. And they are in the light forest. So roll 2d6. Just to see if something happened. Let's see. It's a 3 and a 5. No. Nothing. Great. And then we need to roll again. For the next day oh sorry i didn't show the three and five that i wrote the three and a five so let's now roll again for the next hex shoe once again we should roll in this table so let me just roll once again to this six and i get a two and a three meaning it's nothing so i didn't have any any encounter during these two days so they they can spend the night however as they are going to stay here during the evening i need to roll again if they have any encounter here and then i need to roll if they have encounter during the night so let's roll again two and then roll again during the evening it's a five and a six meaning encounter 24 okay so they find an ogre and once again this has something related to the setting that we are not using but i will get the idea the ogre here is is carrying a sack and it seems that there is someone inside of this um, sack and the, the, the some someone is inside the sack kicking and and maybe yelling and then the the, the ogre just bashed the sack repeatedly and the movements end immediately shut up you i said says the ogre and then i think um that first um they are in the evening, so I would say the first question that I would like to, to check is if the ogre can see them. Um, and for that, I would say that's not likely. The ogre focus is on the on the sack, and I don't think that yeah the, the camp would be in a, in a easy easy way that could be spotted. Um, but I will just roll three d six and see uh, what is the answer okay so actually the ogre can see the camp yeah it's a five for yes yeah. so they they um i will i would say okay although although lucius and yvonne um can be seen by the ogre, but I think that probably Yvonne and Lucius, Lucius could hear him before it. So let me try to ask this again. Can Yvonne and Lucius see the ogre before him? And I would say that this is likely. And the answer is yes. Okay, so I would say that the um, they, they are making their camp, preparing their camp. And then um, Lucius is trying to rest because he, he twisted his ankle previously and Yvonne is helping him. And suddenly they look uh, into the forest and they see this huge ogre looking at them with a sack. Someone <laughs> inside probably and then 
this ogre I do not know what he would do so is this ogre going to them or talk to them no clue let me just see how I do not have any reaction table um, so I'm just going to roll the to, to the oracle is it going to is is this ogre going to be aggressive immediately and the answer is no but because both numbers oh actually is yes is aggressive yes but okay it's yes but mm -hmm. okay so the ogre just stops and he's aggressive but he's not going to attack immediately so he just tried to intimidate Lucius and Yvonne by saying what are you doing here in my forest and Lucius says I'm sorry I, I didn't know that it was yours we are we are just passing by and passing by you say I can say that you are making camp you're not passing by you cannot stay here and if one try to convince him that they are not a threat she says come down ogre we are not going to harm you we are just passing by as my brother says we're just going to pass the night here but we don't we, we don't want, we don't want any trouble and i'm going to roll 3d6 and see if she can convince him but he is an ogre so i would say it's a difficult difficult task to be done so it means that it's minus one but she succeeded and then ogre says I don't want trouble either so you can't stay to the night but don't spend too much time otherwise I'll be back Yvonne just agree okay okay no problem just just do your business and we are doing ours then the ogre just leaves with the sack, dragging the sack with him. But if one says, Lucius, we cannot, we cannot allow this ogre eat that person. I'm not sure if it's, he's going to eat him or her, but we need to save that person, right? And Lucius says, why? It's not our business. But if one says, but, but Lucius, if it would be me or you, of course, if it would be me or you, we, we would do something, but it's not us, though. it's someone else. We are lucky that we we are not there. But Devon doesn't agree with it, so she, so she tries to convince Lucius that they need to do something. Let me at least check, says Yvonne. I'm going to follow him, sneakily, and I will see where he lives, and maybe during the night, or maybe in the evening still we could try to save this person what do you think and Lucius said okay Yvonne okay sister just take care I will stay here for a while I need to rest my ankle and then she just go sneakily follow this ogre and she succeeds so I think she follows this ogre um, and I don't think this his cave is too far from from this place. So she sees when the ogre goes goes to the cave, and in is is he alone or there are more ogres there? I don't know. Let me roll to the six. Oh, yeah, there are more ogres there. How many more? More more than one ogre? Oh, an additional one meaning. Two or there are more than more than two. No, two. Okay. Okay, so um no end. No end. The answer is no end. Okay, so I would say that it's an ogre. 
but it should favor the roll. It's only two, and the second one actually seems to be younger, like a like a child ogre. Yes. So maybe this ogre is bringing this person in the sack to feed his or her son or daughter. Does it make sense? Oh, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, but if one cannot allow this, I think if one would first go back to to the camp and tell Lucius about it and then Lucius of course he would he would agree after Yvonne insists he would agree on helping on helping her sa saving this person okay what I think that is Yvonne is going to, to do is they are going to hunt something and try to exchange the these for the person Yes, this is what I think that Yvonne would do. So, um, for that, I would need you to hunt during the evening. And can be done by several adventurers at the same time. Helping is a lot. So, Yvonne is going to hunt and Lucius is going to help. So, for hunt, first we need to track. Uh, and we do not have anyone with a tracker role. Uh, 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 trade and once a brave is found marksman or trap 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 master gives advantage so we do not have marksman as well cool so just two d6 first trying to find a prey let's roll and we fail okay so they spend some time uh, trying to find a prey and they could not find it. So no prey around. Maybe this is the reason that now the ogre is, um, is hunting people, right? Because there is no animal close by. And maybe it's already too late, right? And I think that if one goes back to the cave just to see if it's too late, and I'm going to ask the Oracle 50%, is it too late? And the answer is yes. Yes, and... Okay, I will not describe the scene, but one can imagine it, right? So if one goes to the cave and see, okay, it's too late. There is nothing that we can do now. I'm sorry. And they go back to their camp. Um, and then we just spend the evening hunting and then we have the night. Okay, uh, one thing that I just forgot to roll during the, the, the hexes leading the way, I should roll keep watch as well in order to see if a random event happens, if I can see it before or not. So by getting the ogre event, for instance, if I have succeeded in the keep watch, maybe I, I wouldn't need to roll if the og ogre sees or not the, the, the adventures. But right now I just forgot about this. But as now they are going to sleep, I think of course they will. Uh, one of them is going to keep watch, and another one is going to sleep. And let's see uh, who is going to sleep is Lucius, and Yvonne is going to keep watch. So I'm going to roll keep watch. There is no skill that brings advantage to her, so it's going to be only two d six. And I failed on this keep watching. As I need now to roll an encounter. So 1d6 again. 1d6 roll. 1. So I need to roll in the table. 
So, should the six. Three. And a two. Mini. No problems. Great. So they spend the night, they rest, they are fully rested, no problem at all. Um, the only thing here is that um, Yvonne kept watch and Lucius slept. As Yvonne didn't sleep, she actually got the sleepness, sleepless condition and she will take if I try to translate the mechanic it means that she's going to suffer one point of damage to her stress each day so she still can do everything normally but she get hit it in her uh, mind for not sleeping so they wake up in the morning once again and they try to move to the next hex. Uh, but before that, let's let's roll the weather. It was raining. Let's see now. I get a seven, and I should go down, meaning that I go here right now. So the other day is a sunny day. Luckily, uh, it just rained a little bit. No problem. They could camp, they could rest, and now they are ready to move forward to the next hex. So, additional hex, oops, not here, here. And in this hex, uh, the first thing that I need to do is, oops, sorry, the first thing that I need to do is to lead the way and keep watch. So for leading the way, it's going to be 3d6, 1, 2, 3, roll, and I have two success, great, so on the lead the way, and let me keep watch, and a success as well, great, so let's just roll now in the random table to see if we have an encounter. And it's a five, it means that we need to roll in this table here. Two D six. And I have a three and a two. Wolves. Great. Wolves. Yeah, I will not check the the the, the game master guide as I'm just getting inspiration. I will just say that yeah, they are they are they are going through the land, through the forest, and they they succeed and they keep watch. So I think that they they can hear or see that there are some wolves. I do not know how many. I would roll um, two d fours, and I will keep the highest one. Okay, just two wolves. Okay, but they see two wolves there. And I think that Yvonne is 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 more likely to, to have to, to, to see them. So she says um, she signalized something to, to Lucius, quick quiet. I see wolves there. And Lucius, okay. Um, and then she she just she would try to pass sneakily through them without being noticed. So she roll and she's going to help Lucius on it because she he does not have sneak. So I'm going to roll 3d6 for her first. And she succeeded not very well. And she helps him by leading the way where he should place his foot. And let's see if he's if he succeeds in it. 2d6 plus one. Yes he does. Great. So the wolves are there, two wolves, maybe they are distracted, maybe eating something even, so they can successfully uh, path through them without being, being noted. And 
So we go to another hex. Yeah, we go to another hex. I'm going to uh, once again roll for the lead the way. Success. Oh, actually, I just rolled two to six. I could have an even more, but I already succeeded in it. And then now I'm going to roll for keep watch. And this is a fail, meaning that if we have an event, I will not notice it in time. So let's see if we do have an event or not. Two. Okay, let me go to the table and to D6. Uh, Two, D6. Oh, you are here. A two and a one, meaning that there is no no encounter. Okay, cool. So no problem at all. So now we should go. We could go through this mountain region, but it's a difficult terrain. It doesn't make sense. Uh, we already walked through two. Now we are in, during the day. I can try to walk two once again. So here first. And let's see. Leading the way. 3d6. Success. Keep watch. 2d6. Success. Let's see if there is an event. Sure. Let's roll. And this is a three, a 3 and a 6, meaning I can show you no encounter here. Okay, cool. Great. So we are doing really great now. So we can just can keep moving to the last hex that we can uh, walk through to, in, during this day. So I need to roll 3d6 and lead the way and I failed. I failed. Let's just roll, keep watching. And I failed too. Great. So let's see what happens. If I go if I go here, leading the way means haps. Mosquito swarm. A large swarm of mosquitoes or gnats attacks you, driving you crazy with their bites, biting and buzzing. They attack with four base dice, causing damage to empathy. Okay. Um, four base dice is a good amount of, of, of dice and what I would say here is I would just perform um, an attack of these mosquitoes and it would be 2d6 and I would say that one damage at least but um, if I have five or six on each one of these dice I could have an additional damage. So I didn't roll, so I would say just one damage once again on each. I'm I'm recovering this stress really easily um, right now. Okay, so now um, Yvonne is still sleepy, and now they reach the evening. I would roll a making camp once again, 3d6, and this is a fail. This is a fail on making camp. Okay. So what does it mean? I need to roll a mishaps. 
Okay, let me just go down here and mishaps for making camp. Your food has rotten or been infected by insects. Everyone in your group must reduce their resource die for food by one step. Okay, um, we do not have resource die, but we do have certain amount of food. So I'm just going to remove it once again. And five. And I need to roll actually because they need to eat. So two and oops, sorry, I, I didn't roll correctly. I need to roll one d6. Okay, again, two, okay, and five, okay. Uh, they still have food, um, but yeah, they, 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 they lost some food, but they still have food, they ate. Um, and although he failed on making camp, we already had the mishap, but we are allowed to sleep normally. And this night is going to be differently because Yvonne is going to sleep and Lucius is going to be awakened. Um, of course, as I'm in the same hex, I need to roll once again to see if we do have an encounter. It's a four, meaning that I need to check in the Game Master Guide table. And it's a four and a five. And we do have an event, actually. Okay, as there is a spoiler here of what they are doing, actually, I will once again just get this as an inspiration. So I'm going to ask the Oracle if they are actually training or if they are really fighting to each other. This is what I'm going to ask. And I'm, I'm going to put this as a 50-50 and the question is if they are training right and the answer is no but they are not training if they are not training they are fighting to each other but something and then who is the win who is who is winning this battle is, is the elf is the elf winning 50% no. Okay, so the orc is winning. So the orc is, they are fighting, but, and the orc is winning. I'm not sure what the but would mean here. Uh, I would say actually that, um, yeah, I would say that they see these, this elf fighting with this orc. And the elf is really tired. And the orc is basically basically playing, laughing. Like, come on, elf. I know you can do more than this. But the elf does not have strength anymore. It's, it, he or she is, is really tired. And they try to, to raise their swords and hit once again the orc. The orc easily dodged the attack and laugh. <laughs> There are, are there more orcs? Are there more orcs there? No. Okay, so only only them. So, um, who says this? Um, both Yvonne and Lucius, right? Or just one of them? Let's see. I think... Let, let me roll. Uh, D6. It, if it's even, it's Yvonne. Okay, so Yvonne, once again. So Lucius is, is, is making, is preparing their, their, their camp and so on. Once again, Yvonne is, is trying to check if everything around is okay. And then she sees this orc fighting and laughing at this elf that is really tired and missing every single attack. And then the orc kicks the elf and the elf just stumbles in, into the ground, trying to get some breath. The orc is really ready to, to, to 
perform his his last attack on the elf. Yvonne cannot allow this, so she just prepare her bow, and sneakily, she will try to perform a backstab. And she attacks with 3d6 because this is her ranged weapon. So let's roll it. Whoa. Okay, so it could be a success with complication. Meaning what? I have no idea. So what I'm going to try to do here is... Um, okay, I will, I will just allow that Yvonne attacks successfully. Yeah, I, I think four damage is already. It, it isn't, and it is not too much. So she caused four damage to to this uh, orc with her bow. So she shoots her her arrow, and it just get in the, the back of this orc at the, in the exact moment that he would kill the elf and she just and this orc just yell in pain and um, immediately she prepare to shoot again and this is the point she can act twice so the first action was an attack and a sneak attack and I would allow a second shot to be sneaky as well because it's the same round. However, as she got the 6, 1 and 1, I will not allow this anymore. So now it's just a normal attack from her. So she would roll again 3d6. And she... So she would actually cause an additional damage. Meaning that he would be really wounded due to this um, extra arrow and now she, he he turns to her because he definitely can 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 see her now and he would now to see if he would attack her or try to finish the elf before i think he would attack yvonne right now but for that i need to roll initiative and in time d6 is basically roll to d6 and if I get the 5 or 6 it means that uh, I will act first. And I won't actually. So let's just try to see um, one thing here. Um, I would imagine it that we have we have phone here and we do have the orc um, here. The elf would be here. Okay. Green is the orc, actually. So the elf's here, the orc's here. And I think, yeah, the, the, as she, she, she shoot the arrow, he would need to spend his all all the, his actions in order to um, reach her so and he just do this the elf is wounded here really tired and the orc just run almost uh, cl cl close to, to Yvonne but now Yvonne can act um, what she can do she only has her bow, nothing else. There is no, if I'm not wrong, there is no attack of opportunity actually in, in this game. So I think she could just move and try to shoot. But this, there are actually a rule, a rule for, for combat that use uh, three zones. Uh, it's close combat is here near would be here if far here so i can just move to a near with one action and with another action i can try to 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 shoot again 
but of course it will allow the orc to run in my direction and do another attack. So let's just see if I can just get get this orc down. So Yvonne just move far from a little bit far from this orc and shoots and just one additional damage. So the orc is still alive. And let's see, does the elf is the elf able to do something? I don't think so. And actually the answer is yeah, it's a tie, six a six. I would say no. The elf is is really tired. But does Lucius hear the, the combat? <laughs> Okay, I would say no as well. So Yvonne is by herself here. And the orc now is, is going to act. So the orc now run and try to hit the Yvonne with its weapon. I believe it's a, it's a great axe. Yes, it's a great axe. Meaning that it causes 2 damage. Because he succeeds here with a 5. So 2 damage on Yvonne. So Yvonne now has 10. And now it's again Yvonne's turn. So she just yell, Lucius, Lucius, I need your help. She runs again in a safe distance and shoots. And 3 damage. Okay, so she just quickly shoots her arrow into the, the, the chest of, of, of this orc that falls into the ground. Dead. And then, once the, all the job is done, uh, Lucius appears by saying, What's going on? What happened? And Yvonne, with a little wound in, in her arm, says, Go, grab the elf. They need help. And and Lucius get the elf and brings the elf to, to their camp. And I think that I'm going to stop here. So we stop with Lucius and Yvonne in their camp with this elf. And let's see what happens in the next session. So thank you for for being here um i hope you enjoy this um once again i'm open to any suggestion if you see that something should be improved or if something is not okay in your opinion feel free to share this please i would like to improve it um i think personally that the the, the mechanic is working well uh, maybe the story is not so interesting at this moment, and even the events I'm not liking uh, too much. Although I can get the inspiration, I, I like the the fact that I can just get the events events from from the game master guide as an inspiration, but not following, uh, no, not follow the the whole event itself. So let's see what happens in the next session, and yeah, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.